You're not even the least bit curious? I'm curious. So open it. It's just a present. No disclaimers. That wasn't a disclaimer. It was... No, it might be the wrong size. No, I saved the receipt. No, you may not want it, so... I am aware of the rules. You made the rules. (laughs) Your father made the rules. (laughs) Because you would always apologize before for giving us gifts. I was the only kid in pre-K who knew the term gift receipt. And that wasn't a disclaimer about the gift itself. It was a disclaimer about gifts in general. They're gifts. They're little gestures of love, Circes. I know. So just open it already. (laughs) You look beautiful. I look fat. Do you want me to tell you what it is? No, Mom. I don't. (laughs) They told us you were going to be a boy. (laughs) I know. Sometimes that happens. in large labia or something. Mom! It's nothing to be embarrassed about. It happens a lot. I don't want to know, okay? Alan does. Well, I'm not Alan. Alan thinks that you're afraid to find out. I'm not afraid. Then open the present. Do you remember what the other seven were? Yes. (laughs) It wasn't a theme year. I wasn't sure if that would make it harder to... I remember them. Oh, do you remember the book year? First night, Nancy Drew and the Secret of the Old Clock. Oh, that was always one of my favorites. But the look on your face when you opened it that first night and then realized that your remaining seven presents were all the same rectangular shape? Daggers. (laughs) If looks could have killed then, well... (laughs) I know what you're trying to do. What is that? What were the other seven? A doll, a sweater, a board game, a bracelet, a CD, Easy Bake Oven, and a book. Oh, that Easy Bake Oven! That was that year's big ticket item! That's what's so hard about doing eight. It's not like Christmas where you just get the one big one, the hackneyed pony. Thank God you were never a pony kind of girl. Hackneyed? It's a word. With eight gifts, there's so many more things to consider, like, are they all the same price range? Which suddenly dwindles down the wow factor of the gifts, you know? And a pony divided in eight to parts is, well, gross, but also (laughs) underwhelming. Plus, if you get a hoof the first night, well, it is a hoof. It could go in many directions. But then if you get a tail the second night and a snout the third... Well, you kind of know what the remaining nights hold in store for you. Yay, a pony. (laughs) Why are you so infatuated with ponies? (laughs) You're deflecting, sweetheart. You know, we tried the theme years. One year, everything was pink. Uh, One year, everything was arts and craftsy stuff. But after the third or fourth night, you'd say, oh, look, it's pink. Again. And regardless, how do you stay away from diminishing effects of the gifts? Is the second night gift more important than the first because it's fresher in your mind? Is the last night's gift the best because it's last? What about poor gifts four and five? The jam Brady's of the Hanukkah gifts. Is there a point to all of this? What do you and Alan do? Hanukkah's always kind of a hard time, you know? (laughs) I can't believe he bought you a puppy the next year. I would have never gotten you a puppy. He's trying to make up for the fact that you were gone, and... Whatever happened to that puppy? It died. Too. I'm so sorry, Beth. About what? You're gonna be a mother now yourself, and... I'm fully aware of that. <sighs> I know you're scared. Why do you keep thinking I'm scared of something? I'm fine. I'm tired and I have to pee all the time and my back hurts, but I'm not scared. Then why don't you open the present? It's not going to change anything. It's not any more important than the other ones. It's the 
last one. Does that make it more important than the others? You know it is. It wasn't meant to be. <laughs> you just happened to choose that one for last. We always let you choose what order you wanted to open them in. Each night of Hanukkah is supposed to be as important as the others, which is why we have that middle candle that's supposed to light the other the ones. The Shabash. <laughs> Those years of Hebrew school paid off. <laughs> so, what? You're saying that every gift is of equal importance because every night of Hanukkah is supposed to be of equal importance? Yes. So the later light, the later nights aren't more important than the first one? More impressive? I mean, the oil lasting for the first night, somewhat surprising, but it could happen. And then the lasting a second night, too, more than the juice could hope for. And then a third. What a miracle. And then God said, you think that's good? Let me top it with a fourth night. And each night it got more and more amazing that the oil lasted that long. And eight? I mean, come on. And coincidentally, just enough time for them to refresh their supplies and make more oil. So, really, those later nights are far more impressive and important to the whole miraculous nature of the holiday. Because if it was only one or two nights, there wouldn't have been a miracle. But had there been no first night, there could be no last night, and therefore no miracle. So, yes... The first night is as important as the last one. But then it just ended. The Jews were able to get the whole oil operation up and running again, and then it stopped. The miracle served its purpose, and it was done. So now, every year, we're supposed to eat greasy fried food in memory of this miraculous oil and give presents which have no relation to the holiday at all. And it's just a reaction to the competition of Christmas. Well, if you don't believe in any of it, then why does it matter if you open it? Or, you know what? Why not throw it out? I mean, like you said, if it's just the Schwartz's attempt at keeping up with the Christiansons, then what's the big deal? The Christiansons? <laughs> I was just trying to think of a generic Christian last name. Joneses. <laughs> keeping up with the Joneses. <laughs> yeah, that would have worked too. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you too, baby. I hate Hanukkah. I know. Why couldn't you have chosen Yom Kippur or, or Purim or Arbor Day? You know it wasn't my choice. Because it's not just one day that I have to remember like everyone else. They've got that one sucky day that they light the stupid memorial candle. I've got eight, and I try every year to just enjoy them. This year will be different. This year, I'll be okay. Maybe the earlier nights are more important than the last one. I should enjoy those. Cherish those. It's just the one sucky last night. Let the one night be the sucky one and don't ruin the rest of them. Because that last night, even before you went and ruined... I know it wasn't your fault. I mean, the last night always sucked, even when I was little, because it was the last one, you know? All the presents were gone, except one sad little lonely present left. And after that one, it was over. The miracle was over. That's what miracles are. If they just kept going and going, one night and then two nights and then eight nights and then nine nights and ten nights and a hundred nights and a thousand nights, then all the rest of your life nights, we'd take them for granted. No. We wouldn't. <laughs> we would. We do. If the miracle just kept going on, then it wouldn't be a miracle anymore. It'd just be. So, we appreciate the miracles when they come. 
And then we miss them when they're gone. Oh God, do we miss them? Every single day and every single moment we miss them. But when they're over, when they're gone, we can't let that pain and sadness let us forget about what a miracle those eight nights were. Or those eight years. Miracles. <laughs> Gifts. Every day we had together. But we wouldn't realize that if they just kept going. Open it. Can't I just keep it and not open it? Just stick it in the closet somewhere and forget about you. it. You won't. And you can't. How about if I give it to my child? Let them open it. It's not theirs to open. <laughs> open it. How was Daddy able to do it? He married Rebecca and they... He forgot you. You know he didn't. It's not a contest. You're not winning anything by holding out any longer, sweetie. That's my girl. Look, I'm not the present. It's just something I gave to you. Now, let me go and open it. Mom, I... I know. Me too. Thanks, Mom. It's perfect. <laughs>